First of all, let's clap for Kainera Farm. Let's clap for them. Let's let's appreciate them. Make some noise for Kainera. It is it's a great experience. Uh, I, for one, have, have been blown away. My name is Andrew Chamagero, and I'm here. I'm here as as a parent, as a father, and as a Ugandan who loves farming. And Dan here is joining me from Chimera. Those who spend the night, the night here, make some noise. If you spend the night here last night, uh huh. That is the energy we had last night. So thank you, Andrew. Uh, my name is Mugwes Daniel. I'm operations manager at Kainela Farms Limited. Uh, first of all, I want to thank everyone who came here. I'm so glad that people came, people turned up, uh, and we are so happy to have you guys. Uh, now, uh, Kainela Farms, uh, this is a farm that uh, started eight years back. Okay. Our appropriators, uh, eight years back, started this idea. It was a very small idea. I think they started with five acres of land. How big is it now? We are now at 89 acres of Whoa. land. Whoa, give that a round of applause. 89 acres of land. So we are <coughs> organic farmers as well as promoting sustainable farming. Uh, those who have been down to our farms and our different departments at the farm have witnessed uh, a good job we are doing. Mm. First for the people, and then first for this country, because uh, we believe farming, of course, feeds the nation. Of course, there are different things people get involved in, but I think getting involved in farming is one of the biggest priorities in this country. And I think we need more people to turn back to farming, to promote farming, to promote better methods of farming. Mm. Uh, the additional advantage of Kainela Farms is that we, are, we do conservation. Like people who have been here have seen our environment. We have a lot of trees. We do not destroy our trees. We are actually pl uh, planting more trees. Uh, we conserve <coughs> birds. We have <coughs> different species of birds. Uh, we have a group of bird watchers uh, early every morning. Do we have some birders here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, every morning we do bird watching. We study a lot about these birds. And we have created a conducive environment for these species to prevail at Kainela Farm. Other people who do farming actually want to destroy the birds, want to destroy the, every animal around them. But we have changed the, the trend and we think that we can coexist with all these living organisms and as well do well. Because as we, we, we are preserving them, we mm. also get some advantages. Mm. Kainela Farms is an agritourism farm. I love that. And um, mm. I love the fact that you, you believe in agroecology. Later, maybe I'll talk to Richard there. Uh, a lesson about uh, bird watching of <laughs> land is that uh, the, the male birds uh -huh. look so beautiful than the female birds. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Okay. because for the bird uh, <clears throat> world, yeah. the beauty has to be with the male to attract the female. Oh, okay. Uh, we have watched documentaries of birds. I don't know if people have uh, tried to do it, but birds, male birds, do create stages for their performances to attract female birds. Okay, that's a lesson I've learned from birds. The birding. That yeah. wasn't our idea. Birding wasn't our big idea, mm. but our colleagues brought that in. So we can, we can partner by sharing ideas. Ideas, yes. yes. Uh, we have different partners. Mm. Avian is uh, one of our part partners. Mm. Avian Conservation, that's mm. an organization that conserves birds mm. and uh, promotes conservation of birds. Mm. Uh, we have, uh, we have uh, vets from Makerere who we work with. Uh, we have, uh, I think you have seen a coaster here yeah, yes. from Uwek mm. that is showcasing the, the beauty of Uganda, the wildlife conservation. Mm. We are very soon setting up a wildlife center at Kainela Farms. Wow. Let's give yes, that a round yes. of applause. The next time you come here, yeah. you'll find uh, uh, antelopes, 
you will find zebras, you will find different animals. Uh, being here, we are in a community of farmers and we give opportunities to farmers around our farm. People who have been here have seen, we do not, we do not fence our farm. We do not fence and we have, uh, I think, engaged with the community very well and also learning from each other. We can't say we are only teaching them, we are also learning from them which is a very conducive environment. You're looking at the next generation understanding where food comes from, and it's something great. What is the experience of Kainera, and what bearing does it have on my children? So Kainera Farms chooses to, to make uh, something that can make a child enjoy mm. and learn, because here we promote learning more than even enjoyment. Correct. We want a, a child to come and see how do they milk, for example? Mm. And we have that at the farm. Mm. How do they uh, cultivate certain uh, fruits? Uh, you have seen the orchard. Mm. We have seen uh, the onions down, the greenhouses, all that. A child is learning, but as well we create a platform for enjoyment. Mm. Uh, we have seen a lot of entertainment here. Mm. Uh, people are learning, but as well as being entertained. How many, How many came, came with the children? children? If you came with the children by show of hands, Let's clap wow. for those who came with their children, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. It means a lot for the nation that is growing. Our country is growing day in and day out. Uh, first of all, we want, what we want you to take from us when you go away from here hmm. is first of all that uh, everything is possible if you put your mind to it. Let's give that a round of applause. Everything is possible. If you put hmm. your mind to it, hmm. you will really do it. Okay. Uh, life can be possible uh, uh, with family, yeah. and life can be so good and peaceful. That's yes. where I'm looking at. Let's give a round of applause to Dan here. He, he gives us very great nuggets to reflect about and become better parents.